of instead of the park from the collective tonight is going to be powerful and healing. I thank my friends at Urban Word NYC for their partnership with this event. They have been a close partner of mine for close to 15 years. And tonight's event will be hosted by the wonderful, the amazing, the incredible NC poet, philosopher, and overall badass, Miss Chanel Gabriel. Chanel has appeared on HBO's Deaf Comedy Jam. She is a recording artist, community advocate, teacher, and healer in her own right. Chanel, we are blessed to have you. And without further ado, it's your show, girl. Oh, man, thank you so much. First of all, you know, Dr. Kirkland likes to do this, where he's like, oh, you know, I'm not a poet, and then spits these crazy bars. Please, so just so everyone knows, once again, y'all have this wonderful chat feature on your um, computer. Since we're not able to be in a room together, if you like things that you are hearing, uh, please make sure you just like show love inside of the chat, clap, you know, say yes, yes, you know, that's not Y-E-S, that's Y-A-S, okay? That's what you do. Um, anything that really speaks to you, feel free to do that. Um, also, if you like any lines that you hear, feel free to like write that line out. Like maybe somebody missed it. You're like, hold up, hold up, run that back. I heard that. So um, but once again, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Kirkland, for, uh, for actually approaching me with this opportunity. Um, and thank you so much for um, NYU Metro Center for the amazing work that you all do in our schools, in our communities, and not just in New York, but all over the country. Um, this man be booked and blessed. He's, um, he's working to fix a lot of the inequities that we see in our education system. And it's, it's really powerful work. And um, it was only natural for Urban Word to be able to kind of keep work, continue working with NYU Metropolitan Center. And um, I'm looking in the chat room and I'm seeing some names that are familiar. So we have a lot of uh, NYU Metro Center family in here. If you're an NYU Metro Center family out here, just let me hear you say, yeah. And you put the yeah, you, you couldn't say it, but you type it, yeah, um, if you are able to. <laughs> so yeah, I see, okay, we're getting it. Okay, all right. So this is an open mic and open mic meaning it is open um, to our community. And we didn't um, try to make this an overly curated thing. We really wanted to make this feel like um, a space, a space of celebration, a space of reflection. Um, and since we are all, you know, under this, uh, I hate to use the Q word, but since we're all staying safe inside, okay, um, it felt like really appropriate for us to use the arts to kind of keep our spirits light, to keep our spirits going, and to feel um, joy that um, I think it's hard to feel sometimes when you look at the news and see who's talking on a regular basis about stuff they don't know about. So we're gonna have a good time in here. We have some really amazing people, some people I've heard before, some people I have no clue what you're gonna do, but I am always been a lover of an open mic because I love to hear so many voices. So um, once again, uh, we have all of these lovely individuals here and um, we're just gonna kind of keep it going, keep it open. So once again, the rules are, there's. The only rule is everybody, please make sure you keep your microphone off. I believe most of you um, are, are not able to because we are in a webinar, but just make sure we keep our microphones off. Um, and once again, use, use chat to help communicate with us. If you like something you hear, let them know. All right, so really quick, we're gonna get straight into our open mic, okay? So boom, 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 first things first, I pop up. First person's about to kick this off. Um, no pressure, no pressure, but I figured I saw her and I know she has to run really quickly, but she really wanted to be a part of this. I'm going to have kick this off my home girl. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. I just realized I switched it up. Okay. I'm going to kick, we're going to kick this off. Um, Paloma, I'm going to switch this up really quickly to the second person that's on the list. Um, shout out um, to Lyrical Faith. There she is. Lyrical Faith. Okay. I'm going to switch this up really quickly. I'm going to pass the mic over to her really quick. Everybody, once again, we, you like we, what we're gonna do is just write a woo. You can snap. Doesn't matter if I can't see you. You're putting that energy out there. We're gonna clap it up as lyrical faith um, comes to the stage. Yes, there you go. Get it. I love things like that. Get it. Woo! All that stuff. 
Well, because there, there she is. There's my, there's my friend. All right. Oh, there you go. Hey, can you see me? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. How are, you, okay. How are you doing, my dear? I'm doing well. Always, you know, always better when I see you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so um, is it urban? I see you represent Urban Word. I'll tell, I'm going to tell them about Urban Word a little, little bit, but I see you representing. <laughs> and um, so what you going to do for everybody? Yeah, so um, this shirt I actually got from the first uh, preemptive education conference that I went to back in 2015. That was <laughs> back after when I was, Exactly, yeah. back when I was um, a, still a senior in college, actually. So we came down from Syracuse, me and my mentor, Cedric T. Bolton, who was presenting. And um, yeah, and, 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 and I assisted him that day. So I was like, I got to, you know, rep for, for you all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So yeah, really quickly, just let you get straight into it. Thank you for sharing. Go ahead. Go off. All right. <clears throat> all right. So this piece is called Hood Horror. Warner Brothers produced The Joker. And it becomes the first R-rated film of all time to gross over a billion in revenue. Transformers was set in Detroit. Red Dragon filmed in Baltimore. The Silence of the Lambs was in Memphis and Frankenstein came alive in New Orleans near the same field as 12 Years a Slave. These cities all happen to be the most populous Black places in America. The Joker was filmed in Newark, Jersey City, and the Bronx, New York. I am from the Bronx, born, raised, and it might sound like, why am I so serious? But when tourists came to come take pictures by the staircase, no one was laughing. I cannot enjoy a feature film without thinking of the unpaid extras posted on the block, how multi-billion dollar productions are shot in the hood for dramatic effect, setting up the horror as if we don't already know scared, like the black of our hands. I have seen chalk outline on sidewalk cleaned up in enough time for tour buses to pull up because street signs in the ghetto make for such great action like Compton, like Brooklyn, like nobody went to sightsee in the hood before it became Hollywood. Can't you see the stars in the ground? The ones that went to heaven before mama could say we made it, before the camera panned right down the graveyard to catch our good side. Tell me how many box offices will catch a tax break for the dreams that went to die on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Which scene can my family survive in when our poverty is just so profitable? When the cameras stop rolling and there's remnants of your lens still on every barbed wire fence, movie magic is not how abandoned the buildings look, but rather how well they edit out the residents. And somewhere, there are visitors viewing the finished product, capturing our trauma on portraits, posing in places they do not have to be a part of, thinking it'll turn out okay because isn't gentrification just color correction anyway? And that's that piece. <laughs> oh, go off poets. That was lyrical faith. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you, poet. <laughs> oh, Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. So we go. So what a way to keep kicking this off! Once again, this is the open mic, um, and uh, just to mention really quickly, she brought up something. I'm the deputy director at Urban Word NYC, and Urban Word NYC uses poetry, hip hop, the arts to promote literacy, social justice, youth development through workshops, through performances, and other opportunities for our young people. And uh, Lyrical Faith is definitely someone that I, I know has used poetry in that way, and it has very much been a part of her life. Um, so, and shout out to all the educators out there as well that are out there doing this work. Um, but definitely, thank you so much for, for performing. All right, next on the open mic list, we're going to keep it moving, keep it moving. Um, round of applause we have coming to the virtual stage. Clap it up for Iris. Woo! 
Clap it up for Iris. Hey everyone, thank you, Ms. Chanel. And similar to Lyrical Faith, I passed through Urban Word. Um, also, Urban Word is what helped me get to college, honestly. So guys, please support Urban Word. It does amazing, amazing, amazing work. Um, and I'm also a Syracuse alum like Lyrical Faith, and we actually have the same mentor, Cedric. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll be reading, so, oh, I'm um, from Brooklyn, New York, but I'm here in San Francisco, California. So my first piece, it's two, it's a two-part piece. Um, yeah, so the first part is called The Ancient. When entering a Black woman, you enter the ancient. Have you ever seen a Black woman in the sunlight? She shines so radiantly that it's hard to tell whether she is reflecting the light or absorbing it. The sun shines on black women whose names we do not say enough. Makiba of Ethiopia gives us her strength. Nefertiti of Egypt gives us her beauty. Nandi of South Africa gives us the ability of standing in our self-worth. And Aminatu of the Sahara gives us unwavering courage. We carry their memories. Mother Earth's bounty is in our hair. Our veins reveal the journey of our foremothers, and all the little chocolate, chocolate drops that come from our rooms are nourished from our breasts. The evolution of creation rests in our souls. I am the ancient. In the present day, the ancient is referred to as black girl magic. So let me sprinkle a little bit on you guys. Black girl magic, steady holding it down, steady setting trends, the fulcrum of America's culture, but America just won't admit it yet. Black girls being Ariel, James Bond, hot girl summers, sporting bejeweled stilettos with nails and hair in every shade of the rainbow. Black girls being icy and fly. Coming into a never forgetting self-worth unstoppable. Black girls reclaiming ratchet, boss bitch, loudly and boldly. Finding love, leveling up, strutting in those red bottoms while still paying that rent on time opening up businesses and getting that twist out poppin, catching flights and not feelings, continually securing the bag, meal prepping, hitting hot yoga classes while keeping those edges laid, having multiple hustles and multiple suitors and getting that second masters, overcoming obstacles, badass and bodacious, prioritizing self-care, staying moisturized, not serving tea, but getting their 65 ounces of water in and minding their own. Skin glittering, waist beads hugging skin, braids touching that booty, IG flicks on fleek, unapologetically sprinkling magic on somebody's handsome ass son. Who else but a black girl can give you some bomb ass conros and put you to sleep with some candy DMs and cornbread? Black girl magic. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I was sitting here like cornrows popping. And you ended it with the food, so that made me really happy because I'm hungry. I'm going to eat right after this. Oh, no, but that was really dope and really powerful. Thank you so much for sharing, Iris, and thank you for showing us love here. I know you represent this side, but you're on a West Coast time, and you still came through. We appreciate you. Yes, Black Girl Magic. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, everybody. This has been great, and I love the chat room. Everybody's, everybody's good. Look. I know we got educators in here because people are like following instructions. I appreciate you all. Yes, you are very encouraging on this chat room on the side. Uh, for all the performers, make sure if you want people to follow you, please put that down in there. Oh, Kelly, she actually switched it up. She fused the two pieces together. They fused the two pieces together, which is really, really, really bomb of you, Iris. It was like swag because it was like the ancient and because we are the ancient, we talk about black girl magic right now. That was, that was. That was fly. That was fly. All right, we're going to keep the open mic moving. We have coming to the virtual stage. Show some love for Jessica Diaz. Welcome, Jessica. We're going to bring you to the stage. Yay. You got, you got fans in here. I see people like, yay. Oh, my God. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear okay. you now. Welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is my first time participating in anything like this. All right. Fine. And I got the information from a coworker, and I was like, all right, why not? I'm going to do this. Um, yes. 
I'm in education too. I've been in elementary education for 16 years now. And currently I'm an educational consultant and I work with multiple schools in the Bronx, my hood, born and raised. I am living here, thriving here, representing my hood as hard as possible. And um, the piece that I'm sharing today um, is kind of still working itself out, but um, I participated in an exercise where we were asked to battle rap with COVID. And so this is some of what came out. <laughs> All right, let me get this. Okay, battle, COVID-19 versus BX1. Intrusion, this false illusion that you just stepped up on the block in March, farce. What, you looking at me with the side eye trying to say I'm lying? Oh. Are you surprised that I know the definition? Ain't nothing new to this. You've been scheming, stay fiending to infect these Bronx streets further, trying to hurt the little ones we got with grooming to come up. Nah, you don't pick the wrong one, yo. Hypervigilant, indiscriminate, any of y'all can get these hands. SARS, Ebola, H1N1, COVID, morbid. <laughs> ha, kid, you really gonna be in for it. Done seeing your attempts to keep us hidden, Lack of funding, keeping us wondering, is the next check coming? Will our businesses be reopening? Is this my last day breathing? Socioeconomic status, the apparatus that keeps us unable to know if we even have this. Ain't nothing nice about being considered last for everything else, but being number one in zip codes grappling with this shit. But we gonna be all right though. Let me tell you what it be. The strongest always get hit hardest because they want to test these steeds. So show them. Let them know how. Our rhymes be limitless. Vibrations cause the synthesis of positive energies that be birthed from this uterus. Head to head, toe to toe, how we doing this? Highly infectious, reckless. This fire I'm spitting brazen. Did I done leave you breathless? I see you backing up off me. That's right, B. Six feet up better, never let up. Hit you with this one two mortal combat move can you get up still spitting you're flinching don't like this feeling of me breaching your social distancing pandemic yeah the world done said it but trust and believe you're gonna get with it we've been prepping for this battle epic mass vigilante come get we I blast thee with this anti-virus, probe your sinus, inject our slyness when you thought you were the one creeping up behind us? Rocking your bells like LL, grip the mic tight. You really believe you can last 12? You'll spiral as we go viral, backhand slapping you like old school mamas do, rooting ourselves because we know no one else gonna do. Antibodies, hood strong, we done punked you. Microscopic or not, you gonna get got. Sleeping on us? Rona, please. We never sleep. Stay grinding. Hustle harder, hardest. Inflict you with the awe of our marvelousness. Leave you hurting, skirting, that you afraid of us. Knowing our untapped potential be endless. Leaving you lifeless, tapped out. Push to, through this. We lean on the homies for our resolutions. Ears to the street, scouting for our next opportunity already. Easing our people's pains like exeteran, better than us, be no other. We rise up, take it, change it. It be us, the agents, the artists, the educators, infiltrate the systems. Saliva droplets ricochet off our mics, our pages. Graffiti scrolls timeline in our majors, each teaching the stories of our ages and how the battle must continue on. We so bright, the foes will continue to step to us. That's why we always gotta be prepared to knuckle up. In this cryptic break, dance apocalyptic, review their scripted trajectories for us and revise it. We didn't hire the DJ at this particular house party, but we got the records and the histories. We done never turned down a battle before. Replace the needle, flip the vinyl, drop our beat and scratch the fuck on. Thank you. Yes, you better work, Jessica D. Yes, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back can't slap at you like old school mamas do. What? <laughs> my kids, my students were here to be like one, two, three. 
bars. Thank you so <laughs> much for sharing. We appreciate you. Thank you. She's trying to battle. She, you know, I tell you, yeah, BX, y'all got, you know, you know BX is, is the birthplace of hip hop. You know, Brooklyn, we like to argue about that, but I'll give it to you all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing. All right. Keeping it moving on the open mic list. We have come into the stage, the virtual stage. Show some love for Mariah. Ah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Mariah curls pop in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, my name is Mariah. I'm from New York City and I'm going to be singing a clip from Halo Beyonce. So hopefully you guys can hear the background music. Can you hear that? Remember those walls I built Well, baby, they're tumbling down They didn't even put up a fight They didn't even make a sound I found a way to let you in But I never really had a doubt Standing in the light of your halo I got my angel now. It's like I've been awakened. Every wound you had me breaking. It's the risk that I'm taking. I ain't never gonna shut you out. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can feel your halo. You know you're my saving grace. You're everything I need and more. It's written all over your face. Baby, I can hear your halo. I pray you won't fade away. I can see your halo. I can see your halo. Like a ray of sun burning through my darkest night. You're the only one I want, and I'm addicted to your light. I swore I'd never fall again. Just don't even feel like falling. Gravity can't forget. So pull me right back to the ground again, like I've been awakened. Every rule you have me breaking, it's the risk that I'm taking. I never Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can see your halo. I pray you won't fade away. You're everything I need and more. It's been so long. Baby, I can see your halo. I won't fade away. I can see your halo. Good girl, you sound like an angel. Oh, you hit all them notes too. You uh, uh, hold on, I got warm up. Uh, you you were doing it. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank so, you. Ah, oh, such a beautiful voice. Thank you for sharing. Thank everyone. you for having me. <laughs> yes, give it up for Mariah, everyone. Uh, uh, all the applause. The crowd grows wild in the chat. Yes. Everybody, if you if you tune in a little bit late, it's been a really great open mic. I'm telling you, you know, this is and we have nothing but greatness continuing on. 
Um, next, we're bringing it to a friend of mine. About to uh, hit the open mic. Show some love for James. Yes. Welcome to the stage. And I, we have a lot of... Thank you so much. Thank you for... And first of all, there's a, there's a um, really quickly while, while we get James on the, on the stage. Uh, just so you know, we have like a, a veteran, a legend, uh, an amazing power um, at NYU and outside of the NYU walls. Dr. Gray is in the chat and she's tuned in. Just want to say thank you so much, Dr. Gray, for showing up and coming through. We appreciate you. Oh, James actually had to step out for a second. So we're going to bring to the stage one more person really quickly. Um, hold on. Where are you? Um... Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Nambi, are you here? Oh. Yes, I'm here. All right, you ready to rock for me, my dear? Yes, Blazer. Yes, <laughs> Blazer. You better work. How are you? We're well, we're doing great. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for having me. Hold on, let me just adjust this. Okay. All right, take the stage. The stage is yours. Ayo hey, Ma, Ayo hey, Shorty, Ayo hey, Light Skin, you don't see me trying to talk to you? Oh, word? So you just gonna walk past me, look at how you looking? Oh, I, you ugly anyway. I'm often quiet in places where I should be loud. Said I'm often quiet in places where I should be loud. You see, women like me know three things intimately. I said, women like me know three things intimately. It's fight, flight, freeze. I said, it's fight, flight, freeze. And my grandmother ain't raised no fool, y'all. Real. Why the Nako America do carry that? When the kid do come, when they go away, when they move to me, I want more than when they go. I'm trying, grandma. I'm trying. But it's like the weight of the world be so heavy most days. It's like my crown feels heavy. It's like the world got a problem with the way I love myself. It's like the world got a problem with the way black women love themselves. Loudly, proudly, unapologetically. And I'll be damned if somebody's son tried to make me no do-rag, no pit stop, no box spring, thinking my life is just on audition to be his wife. No, so. Last time I checked, you can't coerce your way into my panties. See, I, I be sacred woman. I bleed with the moon every month. Sacred woman, like everything living be inside me. I said, sacred woman, everything living comes from within me. Thank you. Come through. <laughs> Oh, you were just everything. Thank you so much for sharing that. And that opened up. I was like, ooh, trigger. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and it's crazy how we live in a world where that's normalized, the way people talk and cat calling and all of that. So thank you so much for speaking to that. Thank you. That's thank you for having me. Yeah. Someone just said, tell the people. <laughs> that's right. I gotta let them know, man. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So all right, so really quickly, I do have to, um, I do want to make sure I promote some of the things that um, NYU Metro Center is, uh, has been working on all, all um, yeah, and oh, and, yeah, once again, everybody, all my artists, please make sure you drop inside of the, the, the chat room and let people know how they can follow you and find you and everything like that. Okay, so, um, uh, okay, yeah, so one big important thing I know, um, once again, I, like, I love to do this. Shout out to all my educators that are in the house. And um, by educators, I'm also saying my, te my parents that are educating now, you know, remote learning is a really, really uh, challenging situation. And as we temporary, as you know, we know that we temporarily have closed school buildings and we're turning to remote education to continue the important work of teaching and learning during this pandemic. It is important to continue supporting our children through culturally responsive lessons and methods. So for those of you that are like, what's that? That um, you can actually learn more about how to include the identities and culture of our young people. And this using this as a way to allow them to be fully reflected and participate in their learning. So if you they actually, they actually created a site that is a full resource, both for educators, parents, as well as for families. So make sure you check out, I'm gonna put it inside or, um, uh, CREhub.com. 
slash remote learning, C-R-E, culturally responsive education, hub, H-U-B, dot com slash remote learning. And it talks about why this is necessary and this is something really, really important for you. Thank you so much, Paloma, for posting that inside the chat. For, and the other side of it, the, uh, we've got a shout out, Paloma Garcia. She's, um, she is the tech person, the guru. She's like the VOG uh, in the background, just rolling, just making sure that all the tech stuff is running smooth. And she's very much the reason, like we couldn't have did this without her. So just say shout out to Paloma, um, who is, yeah, I'm trying to remember, get your title right. Cause I know, I remember when you got the promotion, I'm like, what is that? What is your title? Sis, don't let me hurt, don't hurt. I don't want to put your title. How about you are the, you are I'm chief of staff. That's what I was going to say, chief of staff. I was going to, I was going to go and say a whole bunch of other things. The ruler of all things random that need to happen at NYU, as well as all the dope things that are like the, the keeper of all of the secrets. <laughs> the, you know, she is definitely, somebody that has been a resource in so many ways, both through, uh, through this program and in, in general. So just want to say a quick shout out to Paloma. So uh, before we go into the, um, we have a few more people on this open mic list. Uh, James, you're on deck. Um, and then Young Ghost, you're on deck. But um, just a few, few quick things. I thought, you know, we, we'd have a little fun, try to do a little, a little cool thing. So we're going to do a quick poll right now. Okay, so we're going to do a quick poll. Are you wearing pajamas right now? And pajamas can be just what you sleep in. So if that is like a tank top and some shorts, and you know that's your, that's your, that's your nightwear, that's your thing. Some people said no. Some people came here and said, I'm getting dressed up for the open mic right now. Some people did. I appreciate you. You're like, I'm going to treat this like I'm going out. Because, you know, I have all these wonderful shoes that I can't wear. Panelists can't vote. No, you can vote in here. Oh, panelists can't vote. Panelists, you can vote inside of there. Jessica said, this is the most dressed I've been in four weeks. <laughs> Shorts count as pajamas. That's what you relax, right? Okay. Host of panelists can't vote. Do you have the poll? Hold on, what's the poll say? What's the poll say? Who's the one, who, where, where do we have it? <laughs> Sweats all day, tights and a hoodie. Oh, see, this is, uh, Nambi did the thing that we, um, I do on my, I, a lot of my Zoom calls where I'm really cute up here and I'm like, whatever, uh, where the camera ain't showing, right? <laughs> Full clothes. All right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yep. Yoga pants. Shout out to Victoria's Secret for giving us a, a discount on workout wear because they're like loungewear. So we have a lot of no's. A lot of you got dressed up for this. 63% of you said no. 39 said yes. Some of you were like, listen, this is not, this is me going out. This is me going out. Okay. We got one more poll, one more poll. I want to do one more poll. Um, the next poll is, have you attempted, this goes with the pajama conversation, have you attempted to comb slash cut your hair? <laughs> Are you just roughing it out? Um, this is probably, this is the first I've done my hair in a while, tried to get my curls going. Um, you know, how are we doing out there? Comb, yes. Cut, no. <laughs> no wolf season. Young Ghost is like, no, I'm keeping it trimmed. I'm keeping it lovely. All right, let's see what the poll says. Everybody, have you attempted to comb or cut your hair while under stay-at-home orders? You're like, nobody's seeing me. Why am I getting cute? You know, curls, that means that curls are popping. Thank you. <laughs> just shaved, David just shaved his head today. He was trying to be cute. Oh, you mentioned wolfing it out. All right. What's the, what's the, what's the results of the poll? <laughs> oh, it's nearly near half and half. 42% said yes. 58 was like, nah, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. What are you? No, what are you doing? Um, I will say this for, um, for my, for my people that are, um, uh, that are, do go for the barber, go to the, get their hair cut. And they're all like struggling right now. I have no I have no empathy for you because I was a 15 year old girl trying to 15 year old teenage uh, young lady trying to figure out how to perm my hair and not burn my eyes. So if I can do that, you can use the clippers. All right. <laughs> Got to keep moisturized, everybody. Keep moisturized. Guess to all the people that figured it out and was like, I'm just going to try to give a blowout once in a day. <laughs> Go, Teresia. You did that. All right, y'all. So we'll get back to the open mic. Thank you for humoring me and having a little fun with me as we were doing that. So up next on the open mic, 
hailing from from Florida. I know New Yorkers are like mad right now. Like, you know, it's nice out there. <laughs> Give it up for James. I oh, appreciate you. <laughs> hey, what's up, James? How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Thank you for coming in. The floor Thank is you. yours. Thank the you. Floor. I appreciate you for organizing this and hosting and getting everybody in the same space to express themselves and also to receive some it might be a word in here that somebody really needs to hear so thank you so much for putting this together it means a lot i mean one good turn deserves another that's everybody because if he doesn't say it i'm gonna make sure i say it. he actually has his uh, had his own open mic on his instagram page and he runs an open mic out in florida um out in uh south florida so you know make sure you check him out please make sure you put your stuff in uh, in the chat as well but mike is yours go i'm gonna do a piece called award show so this is for all of the fighters. Imagine getting a call and learning that was your calling. Every word said to you was such importance. It woke something up in you that lied dormant and now you're ready to prove that you were born for this. See, I was told that life is a performance and that's why history gets recorded. And that's why the mystery is alluring like dancing on the clouds while the sky is falling, no bullshit. Even Mike Jordan knows wizardry. They're trying to sell us a dream for our memories. We'll do more to succeed if they let us breathe. Look what we've created on our knees, but I believe that change comes with consequence. You might have to suffer for those accomplishments, but your threshold for pain is so astonishing. I mean, look at all the rooms that has got you in. That shit should have killed you, but you toppled it. That means there's nothing that can stop you in the end. See, you're an agent of change. Make them say it with your name. When they underhand, you never complained, you overcame. But I know you don't need the recognition. See, you're just focused on the next mission. Your spirit and your sight, that's a great vision. You turned a passion of life into a nice living. Mm. In a world so foul, you shouldn't call it. I swear, your resilience is important. I promise, the victory will be enormous. But don't you think your story should be applauded? All those times your mind was in torment. Those who put their lives on the line shall be rewarded. That's why I write every morning, because those who put their lives on the line shall be rewarded. I've ignored it, but I can't anymore. When you're a soldier of love, your heart lives for war. We've seen this before, the pain and the suffering. Your skin heals, then you learn to fall in love again. But there are times when the pain is so deep, you close your eyes and you fall, but there's nowhere to sleep. And your life is a loop, it just plays on repeat and only the strong survive. Say a prayer for prodigy. Look, I was traveling, I won't be back for weeks. I got a bag full of clothes and iPhone full of beats a laptop full of plans and presentations with a mind full of memory and hesitation. But we ready, thanks to preparation. Between the drums and the bass, there's a medley waiting. And if we stand on our word, our path becomes a statement and all love needs is in communication. Look, we all need to be, look, we all need to be married to change, but this is thanks to those actively engaged. Look in the rafters, hear your names. They were clapping when you came. When you drop a jewel, we'll just bring it back to you appraised. Say your name. I swear they were clapping when you came. This is thanks to those actively engaged. You drop a jewel and we'll just bring it back to you appraised. Thank you. Yes. Oh my God. A whole word right there. My students would say one, two, three bars. Thank you so much for, for bringing that light, speaking that light and that life to this. Absolutely. wonderful uh, open mic y'all thank you for the space it. i appreciate you thank you thank so much you. please put your ig inside of that in that chat to me please Definitely. so people can know to find more bars and more work and just just so everybody knows uh you you can reach out to james at any time of day or night okay he's probably writing like he's one of those people that's just always on it and always just letting this you know spirit lead into his pen to write something dope so you know shout out to you you inspire me Ah, oh, bars. Yep. See, I told you this a fact. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to keep this panel, keep this uh, open mic going. Uh, show some love. Show some love for Young Ghost. Young Ghost, clap it up as he comes to the open mic stage. How y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing? All right. We all right out here. How Shout out to you, Chanel, for being such a wonderful host. Oh, See blessings, you. blessings. The, the floor is yours. Right, I represent Bronx, New York. Shout outs to all the boroughs in attendance. So, you know, I wanted to do a little song, but um, I'm not so 
familiar with this audio. Like, I don't like it so much, but I'm learning. I'm going to order a um, mic like the young lady that got up here earlier. She had the headpiece and all that. Very professional. That was dope. That was dope. Shout out to everyone who went tonight. So dope. Inspired. All right. So let me get into this piece. This is for the kid who aspires to be Puffy Combs. Crip calls jewels, not to mention from a broken home. Pops was an alky mom, stress brother selling stones. Managed to set standards, did some damage on a microphone. Did a couple power poems. Told his brothers, drop the chrome. Made his own movement, flesh and blood, not the skull and bones. This is what you do when you're ambitious, brother, get your own. This is what you do when you envision on that higher throne. Two business suits on loot and some good cologne. Girl wasn't down for him, had to leave the chick alone. Sometimes in this world without a girl, you gotta stand alone. Recognize a woman though, Jezebel's come and go. Baby mama drama, then you write up on that Maury show. Need a girl who died for my love like I'm Romeo. But I'm a lyrical poet, do this for my people though. And I'm a leader like Moses, devil let my people go. Do this here to liberate, educate and demonstrate. For my people in the struggle, major we should motivate. Here's how we elevate, get some land, celebrate. All we know is Obama, but we never watch the whole debate. Illuminate, delude your race, expect the Illuminati case. If this is true indeed, then we look the devil in his face. Michael Jackson crucified, now he's in a better place. Now my people realize that you have to keep the faith. Life's a traffic jam, wait your turn, then accelerate. Until the end of time, think divine, never fall from grace. Thank you. Yo, bars. No, we heard, we heard that, okay? Thank you. Man, Thank you. you explained you that. Thank you so much. And the church said, amen. I'm looking in the, in the chat room, everybody. Thank make sure you, you check so. out his IG. It's a major ghost 27. But man, everybody, everybody said one, two, three bars. Thank, Thank you so God. much, y'all. Appreciate you. Now this open mic. See, look, staying hydrated. That's what you do. That's what we got to do, you know? That's what we, we have to do that during this season and time. All right, so just so you know, we actually do have a little bit of space on this open mic list. So if you are looking to perform, do me a favor, just send me a direct message in the chat and I will make sure I get you on this open mic list. We try to keep a little bit of space at the end in case some, some people that jumped in was like, I feel inspired after all of the amazing words I heard today. Um, would love to be able to have some of, you, some of you just jump from the attendee to the panelist uh, part of this. So um, just send me some DMs. But without further ado, I'm bringing to the stage. Oh, this is one of my, this is, I, first of all, his energy just be having me hype. Okay. I, if you were looking at the panelist list uh, during Ghost's performance, he was like, ah. That's, I was like, I connected you, my friend. I connected you, my brother. Okay, um, so clap it up. Welcome to the stage, Drew Drake. Clap it up as he gets. Yo, what's good? What is good? Yo, also, Young Ghost, bruh, bruh, what? What? I was in all of my feelings, all of the feelings, bro. All the feelings, man. So good, so good, for real. Oh, man. Um, but yo, thank you, Chanel, so much for having this. Thank you for allowing me to jump on this joint. I'm gonna keep it real short, simple, sweet with you. Um, here's this piece called Ode to Sally May. The day the earth stood still, the first person to call and check on your boy was Sally May. And ain't that like a good partner? Wanting to check on my well-being, even though a love leaves me paycheck to paycheck, but check. She just curious if I'm breathing. A love affair that's got her stalking my social media, or rather just my social security, and she love calling my number. Like my phone number, my bank account number, my router number. I mean, she really like numbers. Love digesting coins the bank of her belly. I ask her what she does for work, and oddly, she never tells me. But I think Sally Mae's a writer. Yeah. The way she evokes emotion with each love letter and never tires. I mean, that type of love is inspiring, right? That's that unpredictable love. Like she called the first and the 15th of the next monthly payment. I mean, date night. And if you decline, she throw tantrums. You know those fits that make your credit score slide. And that's that feisty love, right? Like spicy. A love so passionate, it's almost controlling. But it's not. It's not, right? The other night, after reading one of her lovely sonnets, I was so filled with passion, I wondered how come I never met her father. 
because she clearly met mine. The time she made my mama co-sign because she was unsure if I was financially stable to tie the knot. And that was such a mature statement. I mean, at 17, I didn't realize what she was saying, but now I understand this marriage arrangement. She was just saying, we are in this till debt do us part. And ain't that a beauty of having a good partner? I mean, for life, someone who knows all your scars, even if they're the ones creating them, because that's love, right? The day the earth stood still, the first person to call and check on your boy was Sally Mae. And she just called to say, uh, for the account balance of Andrew Ryan Drake, P.S. I love you. So. <laughs> Yo, you're not no lies told. No <laughs> lies told. The first email in my inbox. <laughs> it's a Naviant saying, we're Naviant. here for you. Your little cousins, <laughs> Naviant, all them right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people on here like, why are you, why are you telling a story right now? <laughs> I just had to speak my truth. I need to speak my truth. And it came out of both. <laughs> we appreciate you speaking your truth. Sally, May is, Sally is a chip. She don't miss a beat. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing that. Bringing it. Yo, I'm sorry. I'm really loving the comments. It's cracking me up. They're like, she's trifling. <laughs> like, divorce her. Divorce Sally May. You know, I'm trying. We working on it, y'all. We working right here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Drew, for coming up on the stage. For Thank you. Us. Thank you for having me, yo. Appreciate you. <laughs> Sally's polyamorous. <laughs> y'all got jokes in the chat room right now. I love it, oh, y'all. Oh, man. So, <laughs> so we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving right now. Um, let me see. So we got quite a few people jumping on this open mic list right now. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But before we go there, just letting you know. So one thing about Urban Word that most people don't know, well, not that most people, some people might not know, but they should know. Um, one thing about New York, um, um, Urban Word NYC is we actually have the Youth Poet Laureate Program, and that is um, a Youth Poet Laureate gets selected for New York City through us. We do that in conjunction with New York City Votes in the Mayor's Office. And that program is actually duplicated in over 50 cities all over the country. I'm talking about LA, I'm talking about Atlanta, I'm talking about St. Louis, I'm talking about um, South Florida. And one other thing about that is we also select the National Youth Poet Laureate for New York City. So the New York Youth Poet Laureate is Mira, that's Gupta, who's an amazing, amazing, beautiful soul and such a talented young activist especially around climate um, issues. And so uh, we actually are having an event to celebrate and select and celebrate um, the, the four finalists for the National Youth Poet Laureate. So if you wanna know a little bit about it and you wanna join in, feel free to go to Urban Word, look for Urban Word NYC on Instagram. That's at Urban Word NYC. And you can also go on Facebook, it'll all be there, all the details for how you can join in, facebook.com slash urban word. Um, and then just join in and um, be a friend and we'll let you know. Or you can go to urbanword.com and sign up for our mail email list. But it's gonna be on May 21st. Um, it's gonna be a great time. You're gonna get some great performances from young people, young, amazing artists. Like I am blown away at the youth writing. I'm like, I didn't write like that when I was your age. And they're absolutely amazing and brilliant. So make sure you feel free to join in um, that way as we select the National Youth Poet Laureate. And there'll be performances from the inaugural Youth Poet Laureate, Amanda Gorman, who's been in campaigns and been all over the place and been featured in the New York Times um, and finishing her studies at Yale, I believe this year, actually. It's not next year, okay. As well as Kara Jackson, who was last year's Youth Poet Laureate, who hailed from Chicago, and she did an amazing uh, article um, with Mademoiselle Magazine featuring Yara Shahidi, like just amazingly talented. Um, and they're gonna be on there as well. All right, all right. So with that said, we got one more poll to do before we get into the, la um, the next couple open micers on here. So this is, okay, this was, one of the things that's getting me through this, because it's very hard for my extroverted self to agree to being stuck inside. Um, and there's a song, I should have played it. There's a song by Janelle Monet called I'm Locked Inside. And I was like, oh my God, it's like my life right now. But uh, the thing that's getting me through it is social media and how much we, you know, while it's definitely not the best way to connect with everyone in person is always better. I'm so loving the things on there. So poll question number three, what is the best quarantine challenge? 
is it don't rush y'all know that's the one where everybody's and then they come out looking cute and stuff i did one i did one. i got bored and, and did one i needed a reason to get dressed up <laughs> is it the savage classic bougie rash I, I i learned some of it i know that it ends like that i got that part i got that part or uh, is it the something new challenge y'all know that's the one and then you run to the back and the next promise hey girl give me something new all right which is your favorite i see some people saying don't rush <laughs> oh you like that song Teresa? thank you for knowing it don't rush let's see did you vote did you vote did everybody vote make sure you vote because i want to see the thing i don't know I don't know. I don't know. The, the rush looks like it's going good. I mean, I've seen some people do some savage ones, so I don't know. Let's see what the results of the poll. What we got? What we got? Everybody loves the don't rush challenge. I thought that something new was going to get. There was a part of me that thought that something new might have got it, but definitely don't rush. I think it's the longest lasting challenge. I feel like don't rush is still doing don't rushes. I don't know if anyone saw the... Oh, Candace said, did you see the granddaddies? Uh, yeah. Bye, Jen. Thank you for coming. Uh, but no, definitely. I appreciate you all taking the poll. Um, you know, feel free to start a Don't Rush Challenge with your family. It's a lot of fun. I like to see the babies do it. They did one with the babies, and they had it. And then they, they were in their pampas, and then they were in these cute little tutus, and it was great. All right. So with that said, just saying thank you to everybody um, that's on so far. All right, so we have coming to the stage. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me get my notes together because we're bringing some of the open micers that just signed up in. We're bringing them in the loop. Mix it up a little bit. But I believe, yes, we have Lynette coming to the stage. Lynette was excited and inspired to perform. Although Lynette was coming in, uh, subbing for her son, she's like, nah, I'm, I'm in. Demont, we got you. <laughs> so, Lynette. Hi, everyone. How are you? Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity tonight. My name is Lynette, and I am a principal in upstate New York. I originate from Brooklyn, and I want to shout out Urban Word and also NYU. Thank you so much for putting this together tonight. This is awesome. So the poem that I'm going to share is a poem that I wrote and it's entitled Motherless Child. My motherless child, motherland less a nation. You are God's greatest creation. When I see me, I see you and my soul is renewed like the sweet 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 morning dew like the wind beneath my wings this thing called joy my motherless child what pain to birth a nation only to have it taken then abused then forsaken do you ever mourn for your kidnapped generation ever wonder where the truth in history lies Pardon me. Ever wonder where the truth in his story lies? Sometimes I hear the thunder of ancestral cries and laughter and shouts of joy. Thank you, Lord, although they tried to rip your daughters from your umbilical cord, the fortitude from your blood runs through our veins still indeed, for resiliency and pride were birthed in your seed and your stature of royalty could not be stopped. 400 years later, black girls still rock. Oh, mother less a nation and generations of daughters, fertile still is your womb. They try to bury your power, but empty is the tomb. Oh, mother of civilization, less a nation and generations of beautiful shades of black. Your daughters, though tortured, our spirits never lack to be exact, we prosper. And still we rise. Although some say it would not be televised, I watch revolutionaries like Maya Angelou. And in 1913, my sorority, a powerful team of 22 blaze trails so that we could prevail. Surrounded by cherubims, protected with melanin, cells that don't lack like Henrietta, I'm going in. Watchmen, watch men through portals, but 
Through him, we're immortal. You missed it. Social media trying to hijack your dreams. Scientists with Uber drivers trying to hack our genes. Stay woke. You know what I mean? Did you know a black woman behind touch tone technologies? Dr. Shirley Jackson, theoretical physicist. Let knowledge be your friend, not your arch nemesis. Overstand with the third eye. 2020 vision with a bird's eye view. High IQ, I hand this torch to you, my motherless child. I know you've been stranded. Understand how it feels to be abandoned. You're not alone. Wherever you lay your crown is your throne. Hold on. Miss Universe, Miss World, Miss America, Miss USA, Miss Teen USA, it's not tragic. We've got black girl magic. So let your spirits rise and soar. Before you, there were none. After you, there shall be no more, my motherless child. Thank you. Come through, Lynette. <laughs> and with the background. How about the background fit the theme? Ah, oh, no. And shout out, Sister Greek. Okay, DST. The ladies of Delta Sigma Theta in the place to be. All right. Alpha Kappa Alpha. Hey, sis. <laughs> but no, definitely. Thank you so much for sharing that. Oh, yeah. Alpha Phi Alpha, Drew. <laughs> Greeks, we, we, be, we infiltrate, we be infiltrating, we be coming up in everything. Hey, that's scary. So, um, no, that was definitely amazing, man. Um, thank you so much, Audrey, for coming on. We appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. But thank you so much, Lynette, for your words and your work. And that was a ninth hour, like somebody just moved the spirit and uh, touched her heart. She said, yo, can I perform? So I'm excited to see the others that are inspired by this as well, that decided to jump on the open mic list. So next up we have coming to the stage, the virtual stage, clap it up for Jenny Pisani. Jenny, clap it up for Jenny. So glad to have you on here. Yes, motherless child snaps. Hello. Hi, Jenny. We got you on. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> Thank you for a last minute. And shout out to Drew for letting me know about this. It's so cool to be a part of this. I'm so Thank thankful. I'm sorry. Your background looks so peaceful. I'm just letting yeah, you know the trees and the meditation. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the floor is yours. Here you Thank go. You. Thank you. Thank you for everyone for, uh, for being here. And I have a poem I want to share with you that's inspired by my mother's grief. So it's interesting to come off this last poem about motherless child. Um, this poem is called, My Mother Used to Garden. My mother used to garden. There was a tenderness in the way her worn palms could cradle dirt and admire a budding rose as if it were a newborn opening its eyes to see my mother's face for the first time. She'd wash her soil soaked hands and tell me how the answers to everything were in the dirt. Like lesson one, be patient and have hope. Growth happens slowly and then suddenly. Lesson two, be wild and welcome surprises like when the flowers you didn't plant start appearing in the spring. And lesson three, be free and learn to let go. There is a season for everything, including loss. There was a frost one November, and since then, I can't remember the last time my mother felt the land between her fingers, dug her knees in the dirt, or nurtured anything. I think life asked her too many questions, and the ground ran out of answers when the earth opened up its mouth and swallowed all of the love that she had. There's a certain sadness in watching blooms wither to observe how the ground which once sprouted with life now grows a film of weeds or how pots once filled with flowers go empty and collect ashes and cigarettes. My mother used to garden, but she stopped looking for solutions in the soil and I felt the wonder grow inside of me. So I dug a soft place in the dirt, held onto the earth and learned. I learned that sometimes it's okay if you don't have the tools, all you really need is your hands. Your body is strong enough to do the work. I learned that sometimes you need to nurture yourself, find your own son, be your own mother, and winters don't last forever. 
It's okay to burst open your knees, mix your blood with the earth, break open your roots and start to sprout each day, digging deeper, spreading wider, holding tighter and letting go because this is how you grow. I learned that sometimes it's okay if your mother doesn't garden anymore and her rose bushes are now sticks with thorns because I am my own flower bed and I will sow new seeds in my skin like the soil which contains all the answers I will ever need. But most times it feels like I am too much to contain within this skin. I am splitting at the seams. My body is breaking. My fibers are fraying. My soul is sweating. I've been a bud for too long and I'm beginning to burst. I want to bloom recklessly and stretch my body like fields of flowers. Seek the sun and feel every ray. I want to open my mouth as wide as the ocean and swallow every drop of rain to taste what heaven is like. I want to spread my limbs like the longest of branches to reach endlessly and grab the sky because I am alive, because I am becoming, because I am blossoming, because I am. Thank you all so much. Oh my gosh, Jenny, thank you. Ooh. Oh, the imagery. That was beautiful. And so aptly, that's why you got a plant in your background. It made sense yeah. with the theme. Right? <laughs> and, and you also slid me a DM, DM and let me know that you're actually an amazing educator. So uh, thank yeah. You for the work that you're doing. Thank I appreciate you. Thank that. You. We have thank a principal. You. Now we have an educator on here. It's just great. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Blessings, blessings. <laughs> See, somebody says, Jenny makes me want to get my hands into Mother Earth. Yes, <laughs> yes. That is all. It's beautiful, beautiful. So everyone, yeah, once again, uh, we have room for maybe a, a couple more additions to the open mic if anybody's on here that would like to perform. Um, we have a couple people. Yep, there we go. All right. So uh, once again, thank you so much to everybody for joining us for this first. This inaugural open mic is like amazing. And oh, yeah, make sure you check out at Jenny the Poet on IG, you know, keep growing, keep growing out there. Um, but next coming to the virtual stage, we have Teresa. Show some love for Teresa. Keep clapping. Yay. Welcome, welcome. So excited to have you. Me too. Um, thank you so much for everybody for attending this wonderful uh, spectrum. I am um, a Brooklynite and I'm in Cincinnati right now. I witnessed some loss in my family, so I came home to take care of that. But um, I'm just grateful to have a community to share with. So I'm um, give you all peace. Um, Try not to get emo right now. Um, this piece is called Pain. And I think all of us are going through a lot of pain right now in life. So I wrote this poem when I was 17. I'm way older than that now. That's all y'all get. Um, but uh, at the time I was just starting college, I was just starting my life and I wasn't quite sure what was next. So all of these lines are pieces that don't go together, but it was the pain I was feeling. So I hope you can relate. <sighs> I dedicate this piece to my daddy. You're trying to climb to strive, but you want to give in. You're trying to pull your weight. But you're losing your strength. It's just so hard to change your life in this game. Cause even when you laugh, you still begin to feel pain. Frustrated, fumigated like a fire, I need extinguishing. Like the second hands on a clock, time starts and stops and I can only become separated. With earth as the antagonist, life possessing bullshit, thoughts made to split then quick leaving a bottomless pit making reality puzzle pieces not fit. I'm trying to shift to a higher learning. I'm earning a yearning for peace, but environmental frequencies disturb and create irrelevancies. Agitated with aggravations of no correlation. Outside sources retaliate and create separation. I segregate negative association, but even as haunts the best of my situations. 
allegations made against my perspective, blocking out my objective goal. So I zip my coat to escape the attitude of the cold. I, not being understood, why I struggle to get good wood. Niggas possessing mediocrity, not beaten up like he could, not eating my shit like he should. I'm sinking and drinking and thinking that linking with others is an impossibility. Tranquility and peace to cease leading us to believe that life's basic needs are life material commodities. Dangerous to dream because thoughts lost purity. I need groundings, new surroundings, and the freedom of the breeze. As life gets easier, the difficulties increase and I can't Breathe. I choke because of broken pieces. I hope this thesis releases because clarity of thought teases my vent. I'm sick and spit like I'm sent to repent. Self-determination becomes relentless like I'm second best. A product of this fucking mess, just let me rest. And I bet let negative aspects will never get me this upset. I feel pain and it's in my veins. I feel strained, but I won't complain, no. Things will change, and when they say my name, it will change from the struggle and strain of my pain. You're trying to climb to strive, but you want to give in. You're trying to pull your weight, but you're losing your strength. It's just so hard to change. Life in this game, cause even when you laugh, you still begin to feel pain. Peace, y'all. Oh, sis, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Wait, you did not. Wait. Oh my God! Everybody's over here trying to listen. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. I appreciate. No, you. that was beautiful. Thank you for sharing. You did not write that when you were seventeen. I wrote that when I was seventeen, sis. I was just starting to feel pain, but yes, that's one. Of, that's my oldest piece. So it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. Wow, you was crazy with your pen back then too. <laughs> um, I appreciate you. you. Many blessings you. and blessings to you and yours. Thank you for joining us. No problem. Thank you for having me. I love y'all. Be safe out there. Love you too, girl. Take care. You too. Oh man, I just, my soul just feels lighter. Like, I don't know about you all that's listening out there, but I don't know. This just, the energy of this open mic has just really, really been amazing. And it's been so healing and just powerful. So, um, all right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> To get my to everybody do me a favor you know this is something that you should be doing on a regular basis everybody really quickly we're going to ask everybody we're going to take a couple deep breaths everybody breathe in hold it one two three breathe out one more time breathe in and hold one two three breathe out all right, all right. Just had to just cat recenter. I just feel so moved and so just everything was just so necessary that we heard today so far. But we have a couple more people going. Um, yeah, we're getting we're getting there. We're all, you know pretty much almost through this open mic, but we have a couple more people on here. Uh, give a round of applause coming up to the virtual stage. Clap it up for Kristen. Clap it up for Kristen. Yeah. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? We're well, we're well. Okay. So um, I'm an educator. I feel like a lot of people who are on this Zoom are educators, whether it's formally or informally. Um, this piece comes from, I taught an international relations elective, and one of my students asked me, what was diplomacy? Mm. And I was like, damn what really is diplomacy so together we came up with uh diplomacy is knowing how to make think uh fuck you sound like thank you mm. <laughs> and having to figure out what countries always have to practice that skill that's a word so this one's called diplomacy 101 you will not know diplomacy until you sit across the table from your colonizer addressing him in the tongue he forced into your mouth after severing yours Please, don't try to convince me to feast on amnesia as I watch those with no lineage grow fat off my mother's harvest. 
The blood in my veins echoes too loud to ever be silenced by your guilt. I pledge no allegiance to your shame, nor will I shed another layer of skin to provide you comfort. You wear too much of me already. Forgive me. I do not know the glory of mediocrity, nor can I confess that fragility be my Lord and Savior. I know nothing of the reprieve bought by weeping. My eyes were bled dry at birth. I have never known the luxury of having water to waste, so excuse me if I drank your tears. Please, do not attempt to tell me of hunger until you've had to pick pride from in between your teeth in order to feed your children hope. Until you've had to bury babies in the midst of bombs and moving borders, do not question the magic I must conjure every day for survival. I'm sorry. You will not know the strength of character until murderers come to the funerals of your fathers to deliver the eulogy. Please, I beg you, when foreign thieves break into the temple of your familiar, then baptize you whore, speak to me of forgiveness. Tell me then the story of not every and not all. Until the fear of shadows becomes justification for the slaughter of your children, you will not know terror. You will confuse him with your conscience. You will rewrite your history and you will call him everything but your own name. Okay. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh, I wasn't ready. Oh my gosh. The, the crowd goes wild. I mean, there were so many amazing, really powerful lines in there. You will confuse terror with your conscience. Ooh. Thank you so much for sharing. We appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, this, is, this is a crazy, crazy open mic. I'm so glad this happened today. I, I just, you never know what people are going through when you speak your words and your truth. I always say that it's so important. Oh, there you are. Thank you so much. Yeah. I didn't know if you did it, uh, you, you blacked it out on purpose or not. I didn't want to like, I was like, you know, I think she was. No, nah, it wasn't. This was complete accident. I thought it was open. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say something. I was like, oh, it's, it's clear that it's on. So I thought it was, but no, we, but here's the thing. It made it like so powerful because it was like, I don't know what you look like. I was just focusing on the black and meditating on the words. But no, thank you. So glad to see your wonderful face. And thank you so much for sharing. Ooh, yes, yeah, some uh Drew is asking where we can we find more of your work. A lot of people are saying they needed this. This was so powerful. Please put that in the chat. Let them know how they can find you. Okay. All right. We have maybe a couple more slots for the open mic. If anybody, yeah, that's what St. Thomas is like the blackout was lit. Like it was just like a it felt like I was just like locked in. Um, anybody else want to join the open mic? This is last call for open mic. There's still space, there's still space. We got you, Makita. Just sent, uh, we got you. Anybody else? Just this is the last call. Kind of like the bar, last call for alcohol. <laughs> last call. All right, everyone. So coming to the stage. Hold on. All right, coming to the stage, we have Hui Ying. Clap it up, Hui Ying, coming in. <laughs> Hey everyone, Hello. my name is Kui Ying. Um, hey, I work as a researcher at the NYU Metro Center um, and I am a poet by nightfall. Um, at open mics, I'm always the person who's like, I wanna share, should I share? And then it's always like a friend is like telling you you should share. And so Paloma was like, Kui Ying, do you still wanna share? And I'm like, okay. Um, and I also wanna say, um, Outside of workspace, I'm also facilitating um, story circles that are specifically for Asian Americans to process um, the anti-Asian racism that's happening at this time. Um, and there is a lot of work and solidarity um, that is especially needed right now amongst all of our communities um, because we all know that it's uh, white supremacy that pits our people against each other. So just sharing that message today. Um, thanks, Drew. My poem is uh, dedicated to folks who are also tapping into their imaginations right now. Um, and especially in our education work, we talk a lot about a 
the importance of imagination, um, like for our liberation and imagining different worlds. So this is for you all. Introduction. Here, we change our name when it feels right. Come together by life's path, not age. People thinking about healing, death, lactose intolerance. We use pronouns of animacy and inanimacy, not masculine and feminine, like how Robin does in Potawatomi. We smashed all clocks in the world through debris into compost machine, found time in rice field terraces of our fingertips, stopped measuring progress like flowers. Bodies grew to redwoods. We don't have many words for becoming. Brilliance transferred to paper, don't become drawing. Stories don't need make you writer. Buds blooming into flowers, just another stage, return to buds once again. We let metamorphoses be. Listen to each other, how we listen to rising tides in conch shells. Cradle body gently, let vibrations thunder unravelings. At night, we hug our bodies, whisper good job today. Remind ourselves, you are tumultuously soft like ocean, fauna of life, crackling coral of wonder, you. Sleep comes easy. Children here, geniuses from small, know how to intuit and grow safety young. We stopped hurting as much, buried rage into soil, dissipated anger into atmosphere. After the universe scattered, we searched and found each other, fell into mutual gravitational force, returned in waves, like Nayira said, how water loves. There are no instruments here. These palm line strings of guitar, voices, symphonies, bodies moving in rhythm, song. Here, we produce our own light store and summon it in our bodies, incandescent like plankton. Thank you, oh my gosh, thank you so much for sharing all the imagery. That was what everyone was going, what the crackling coral of wonder, life, life. Thank you for sharing so much, I appreciate you. Ooh, yes, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Please continue to share, continue to write, uh, and thank you for the great work, the important work that you're doing. Um, it's really important uh, to battle this xenophobia that is more effervescent than it usually is, you know, because it's something that is an ongoing thing. And what I'm learning, what we know is that, you know, when things happen, all they do is bring to light what was already there and bring it to the surface. So um, thank you so much for, for, for bringing this to the surface. Ugh, yeah, people still dropping lines on you <laughs> the chat. Appreciate you. So um, it's funny, I got a, a DM saying, put me in coach. And I'm like, you were going up next anyway. So I don't know what she thought. But um, once again, I give a round of applause to the person that's been helping me with all the tech and all of the backspace and helping, the helping you, guys, you all register and get everything going. Um, but, uh, you know, this person, she's definitely a, a poet and an artist in her own right. And uh, I'm so glad to have her uh, come to the stage, the virtual stage. Clap it up for Paloma. Yay! You rock, you rock. <laughs> Thank you, Chanel. Um, I, I had to tell you because I knew I would chicken out like the longer it took. So thank you so much. You actually inspired me to perform today. So thank you. Um, so I've been thinking a lot of my family. I'm in New York. All my family's in LA. So these, I have two short poems. One's dedicated, dedicated to my elder, my grandmother, and the other one is inspired by my niece. Um, so I'm just gonna go in on it. Mi abuelita preciosa, soy de la jefa, mi origen, mi enseñador. Vivas adentro de generaciones, las raíces de un árbol fuerte y expansivo, la comediante afilada, la cocinera de historias y memorias. Gracias por tus sacrificios, gracias por tu presencia, gracias por tu existencia, tu energía eterna. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sharing. I know it's weird to pass the mic to yourself, right? I <laughs> No, but I'm so glad you did. That was absolutely gorgeous. And um, definitely put to use a little bit of Spanish, I know, to get some lines out of there. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, 
I appreciate you sharing and sharing in your native tongue. I appreciate it. Oh, amen. Yeah, this is, you got a little bit of everything on this open mic, y'all. Y'all should have paid like a couple, like I would have paid $25 for this at the door. You know, I would have, I would have waited online like it was a new year weekend. I'd have been down the, down the block waiting from like three o'clock. <laughs> this is amazing. Yes, yes. Thank you for sharing. Ugh, pass the collection plate. Um, no, we appreciate the um, just you all being on here with us. So we have uh, one more person on the, wait, no, we, I feel like somebody else said that they might have wanted to perform. Just make sure uh, if you did, please just uh, make sure you send a, a message to the panelists, to all panelists, and it'll get to us, okay? Because I know somebody else said it in the chat, but I don't have their name. But um, let's, what, actually, really quickly, I want y'all to just kind of, just kind of, let's take a minute. Let's see if we can have everybody uplift. Oh, she said she had two short pieces. I'm sorry, Paloma, you have another piece? You better take this mic back. Ah, uh, come back to me. Come back to me, maybe? I don't know. I just said you had two short pieces. I missed that. Someone just DM me, like, okay, you missed okay, that? I was I'll like, do it real quick. And I think DeMont still needs to perform. I was going to say that. I was like, somebody else said their name, too. Okay. But no, 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 no. I, I, I did not mean to take your mic from you early. I want to hear all of that Paloma got. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. So this poem, thank you, Cheryl, uh, is inspired by my niece. Um, funny thing of quarantine, my niece and my sister are like always together now. And so they got into it. But a good thing that came out of this was a hilarious little note that said, Mom, I'm sorry for acting bad to you. So that inspired this to kind of think about our greater mother, Mother Earth, Mother Nature. So this is this poem. Uh, Mom, I'm sorry for acting bad to you. We wanted to run faster and faster. We pressed you so hard, you bled crude. We wanted to feel like we could sprout glory from the ground. When we slowed, you bloomed, you breathed clear. You straightened from the slump of our pressure. Finite fright we found, the realization that the world does not spin on our fingers. We do not own the land on which we sit. We are visitors strolling through. We are amongst your sprouted glory. Mm. I dropped a jasmine in my mask as I ambled, feeling the atomic weight of eternal matter, pondering our future with you, however short, however long, feeling the, nece the necessary hope that your spring brings. I look to our better selves in community. We're sorry for acting bad to you. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I actually interrupted that beautiful like piece right there. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Everybody please round of applause. Oh my gosh. And thank you for everything that you like. Once again, a lot of people wrote down when I, when I said your name was like the heart of the Metro Center. Like you, I hope you know that you are loved and you are appreciated. We see you, you are seen and we appreciate your passion for just supporting others it's not even just us just others in general your heart is is very much appreciated thank you thank you That's absolutely gorgeous all right so uh, before we go to the next persons that are performing i want to actually bring the chat into this i want you to um we've been feeding y'all we want y'all to feed us a little bit really quickly okay so really quickly the question is what is a song that has gotten, been getting you through this? What is a song? What is a piece? Maybe it's a poem. Um, I, I, don't, I love music and music speaks to my soul, but what is something that's been getting you through this? Let's feed each other. Make yourself a, a good pl playlist on Spotify after this. So I see we have Nina Simone feeling good. Your Chance the Rapper Sunday Candy. Yeah, brother, can you spare a dime by Abby Lincoln? Well, I'm gonna look that one up. <laughs> Just heard D nice all day. D nice. <laughs> Everybody's good. <getting, laughs> um, MJB, just fine. Fine, fine, fine. Burner boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. So you have that ride on King Jesus. No man can I deny me. I know that. Americans, Janelle Monet, Whitney Houston, just Whitney, just Whitney, you know. Intentional by Travis Green. Final by Wilson. See, Jonathan, no man. Didn't I by Durando. Negative Press Project. Clo they have a coded playlist. Okay, I'll look that up. Cash Money, doing it for the 9 9 to 2000. <laughs> Listen, whatever brings you joy brings your spirit joy, right? 
of New York, Alicia Keys, I Need You Now by Smokey Norfolk, classic. I want to break free, queen, classic. Gonna be all right, the whining. There's a poem by Dan Albergati, Things to Do in the Belly of the Whale. Cameron, welcome to New York City. So before there was the Alicia Keys New York City anthem, there was Cameron and Jay-Z. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. We have Good Day by the Nappy Roots, Pandora by Richard, first, Richard Smallwood, the, one of the greatest gospel artists of all time, in my opinion. Bill Withers, anything Bill Withers, just makes you feel good. Salim said, never would have made it without you. Hey, Nappy Roots. I Am Light, India Ire, Blessings by Chance the Rapper. That's another great song. Ashe by Terrence Blanchard. That's a bad, bad song. Okay. Yes, Kendrick All Right. Kendrick All Right is like the anthem for like life. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, I'm going to spit at the end. I'm going to spit at the end. And Punjabi, Bangura Dance. Okay. Um, Bahangra Dance. Okay. Be Easy, Alice Smith. Live Where You Can, Gospel of Colonas. Buju, yes, Buju out, thank you. All Soka, yes, yeah, Soka, I have yet to hear a Soka song that's like sad. They're all literally like spirit, <laughs> like this is all there. Thunder by Imagine Dragons. So we have some great music. Feel free to scroll up, Sizzler Solid as a Rock. Take notes, take notes, scroll up. Final by Wilson is sad, okay. All Afrobeat, Afrobeat, things that make you move, things that make you want to dance. Well, I watched the uh, Clark Sisters biopic, so I'm a huge old school gospel fan. And that like really did like a number on me. So that's what I've been listening to. Hooking Me by Farmer Nappy. Okay, that's some, some, some uh, soca. Uh, Art People. Okay. Oh, someone said it got to go. <laughs> Molly Music, Beautiful, Medicine for the People. So keep scrolling and feel free to keep sharing. If you have more, if you keep sharing, we need all the light that we can get. But as we, uh, as we wind this down to close, to close out, we have two more people that are on our open mic list. Right now, we're going to go to this uh, person that's reached out to me. Um, they're going to sing, but I think they wanted to play a link. I'm not sure we can, we might have to figure that out. That might have to be for the next one, just because we want to try to try to do it before we did it today. But I'm um, definitely looking forward to having her sing. Please clap it up for Makita. Thank you so much. Yes, I will definitely, um, my uh, choir, the gospel, um, the Voices of the Flame, um, we haven't been able to have rehearsals because of COVID. And okay. so um, when I got the email about this, um, I thought it would be a good opportunity to find another way to connect. And so I have a link and um, a few people from the choir have created some, uh, a song, Honey on the Sweet Honey on the Rock. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll put that in the chat but I just wanted to offer a song uh, myself. Please do, please do, thank you. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eyes 
I will say it's no matter what denomination I identify with, that just touched my spirit. I think that touched a lot of people's spirit in the chat. Thank you so much. That song, that song is such a powerful song. And, and I know it's connected to a lot of people's experiences in different ways. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, please, we, we're going to make sure we get, not this time, but next time, I really would love to have your choir be able to share that piece. We're going to work on the tech stuff and figure it out. This open mic is happening again. It's a wrap. I'm not even asking Dr. Kirkland. It's, it's happening, David, just letting you know. We're doing this again. Oh, thank you for touching my spirit. Oh, yes, everyone. Yes, you all are. Oh. The link didn't attach. Makeda, oh. I know you put the link, but it didn't stick. So put it oh. again, please. Okay. Oh, and thank so you. I, I see Celine is on. Yeah, it's right, um, right up here. It's, that's up here. I, I got I'll, I'll put the link in again. We put this together this weekend. People just came together and... I know technology is a challenge for a lot of people, so people um, overcame many hurdles to get this video. So I'm excited to share it. And um, Celine actually offered a prayer, and I see you, Celine, um, in in the attendees. So please check out the video and leave some love, and I'll share it with my my choir, Voices of the Flame. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, appreciate you. Listen, if you are moved by this open mic, please just type a yeah in the chat. Like, just type a yeah or a yas or a amen or a ashe or a C or a we or a <laughs> whatever moves you. I just, aloha, everything. We appreciate all of the people that have been on this mic. We have one final person on this open mic. I, I promise I'll, I'll make sure I perform. Don't start yelling at me but um but definitely we have one more person on the open mic please clap it up coming to the stage boom, boom, boom. clap it up for demont demont clap it up welcome to the virtual stage hey how y'all doing can y'all hear me yes we can hear you hey what's up hey so i'm from uh i'm from new york city I'm a part of Queens Underground Poets, but I actually live in Rhode Island. Uh, my name is Mr. Orange Lives. Actually, I've been trying to connect with you for a couple of years, so I'm finally glad that I'm finally able to connect, finally. Uh, I got one poem from you, for you guys. Is that okay? Uh, I dedicate this poem to my friend, uh, Marie Mikaya. She has the silent strength of hope like in a hurricane. The quiet voice that guides your fears from, rea from reality. The kind of strength that stretches, bends, and twists like two pieces of hair that never break, bonds that never sever, but connect muscle tissue and brown skin. Brown skin that bears the weight of queendom. She loves beyond the scope of her creations, yearns to be entangled with the unconditional. So she offers all crown and glory, all gut and testimony for her kingdom, all air for her heirs, even if it means she suffocates in silence. Her words of advice may have fell on deaf ears, but she will not release the weight of responsibility, no matter the heaving. Heavy is the light of her glow. Praise is the prism of her reflection. She is the original image of what it means and what it takes to be an artist, a queen, befitting her throne, a symbol of what empowerment looks like. She is the perfect cast to mold, the perfect role to model what I mean to say is. If I could use one word to describe her, magnificent. One word that tried to destroy her, cancer. One word that ensued battle. Your battle scar gives me hope where scar tissues are reminiscent of a heavy heart like your treasure chest. Been through a few things, a few things to know. Hope at a bar and an eight second conversation about the facts of life is unexpected. About the facts of life. You lost your hair but not your crown. Warrior still proud, my divine lady. Everyone will not know the battle that is waged under your skin, but remember the poet, the personality, the character of a queen who sits on her throne, making those who pass by aware of the happiness life has to offer. So never give up. 
We depend on you. This cancer you speak of, it only affects your mortal frame, showing us just how human you are, reminding us that life is short, that the battles are long, and to win will come at a great cost, but you have learned life secrets. Family stands by you. Love surrounds you and its value is immeasurable. Today, I have not learned but only one thing and it wasn't that you had cancer. It was the strength you possess, the kind of woman you are and no single cell or entity can rip that from your breast. So if I could use one word that describes your outcome with cancer, it's conqueror. For you will always be more than a survivor, but a conqueror. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, that was powerful. You had all these like secret bars in there. You're like, wait, oh, I see what he did there. Oh, no, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this oh, was amazing. I'll put my info in the, in the chat box. Yes, please do. Please make sure you, everyone, make sure you follow the art. Sorry, I'm muted. Oh. <laughs> that part. Yes, please put your um, name in the chat box. Make sure you follow um, follow all the artists. Um, follow follow the host, Chanel Gabriel. <laughs> um, but no, I really appreciate, we really appreciate you coming on and being a part of this open mic, everyone. Um, it means a lot, once again, uh, to NYU Metropolitan Center. You know, you all are really um, amazing, the work that you do and once again, if you if if you work in and around education, um, if you work with young people, if you work with uh, anything involving equity, they do so much research, so much um, studies, so many different. They have so many different tools on their website. So make sure you tune in. Even as things are virtual, they're moving a lot of things to virtual. Um, Urban Word is glad to be under that umbrella. Um, a part of the NYU Metro Center family, and it means so much to everybody who dropped, who joined in here, um, to to join in here just to just to break bread with each other. So uh, we're gonna do this next month. Next month, it's, it's happening. I I enjoyed it, and it was something I looked forward to. And everybody that's kept on this virtual stage like Slade, definitely thank you so much. So I'm gonna share a piece as we close out. Um, because I, I want everybody gets the floor. I wanted to to depart, uh, but uh, uh, I was torn between two pieces, and I'm never one to do that. Like I don't know which piece to do. Usually, I'm like I'm gonna just do this piece. I knew Drake said do that one piece. Okay, I'm gonna do that one piece. There you go. Thank you. Um, maybe I'll say I'll say the next piece for next month. How about that? The other one I was battling um, with, but uh, I think it's been really challenging to uh, to to remain hopeful. You know, it's, it can be very challenging to remain hopeful in times like these where uh, the end is not seen. Um, it's hard to dream for a lot of people. Um, but um, for some reason, I do feel like this space has been, um, this, this space, while it has been tumultuous, it's been absolutely insane. Um, I've been feeling really, really spiritually connected to what's going on inside and really connected to still having vision. So to anybody out there that even though we are in, um, in this, all in this together, anyone out there that feels like this is, um, this is a really tough time for them, this is a dark phase for them, please continue to like, just keep striving and keep aiming high. That's the name of this piece. Aim high, shoot far, aim for the moon. If you miss, you'll hit a star, aim high. And then you shoot far. Just aim for the moon. If you miss, you'll hit a star. And it's easier to want things than to get them. Most people have dreams, but they never manifest them. Pressure makes diamonds. You have to mine if you want to come out shining. And dreams mean nothing if they leave when eyelids flutter open. Empires weren't built from just wishing and hoping. See, doors will always open. Opportunities may pass. Ships may sail, but you have control of the mast. And this is your sea. This is your sky. It's your destiny. Let no one break your concentration. They got that tunnel vision. Let them stay in the mental train station because success is a journey, not a destination. You need to have that patience, that drive to make your passions come alive. And you alone can decide how 
how far you were going. God gave you his divine ability. Believe in speaking into being, see before actually seeing. Give your life meaning as you attain what you envision. Keep on dreaming. Don't ever let them die. Don't be the eagle that never knew he could fly. As you attain what you envision, keep on dreaming. Don't ever let it die. Don't be the eagle that never knew he could fly. And I apologize for making it sound painless. See, it's a long process, I must confess. And you don't know what faith is. You give something your all without a sign of the next step, the next nap, the next check, the next meal. No indication of a record deal. I know how it feels to struggle. Life's troubles, feeling stuck, feeling like a mini Cooper up against an armored truck. When problems pile in your life, it makes it easier to climb. And when you conquer them, you'll be standing high. And I know so many people that failed because they failed to realize how close they were to success when they decided to no longer try. Our ancestors died and many of our parents gave their lives to make a show we had the means to become anything we dared to dream and nothing worth having comes easy. That's why the road to the top can be so lonely, but it's only temporary. They say success is never ending, failure it's never final. You've got something inside you that's special. Don't ever let it die. Don't be the eagle that never knew that he could fly. He could fly, he could fly, aim high. And then you shoot far, just aim for the moon. If your man will hit a star, aim high. And then you shoot far, just aim for the moon. If your man will be the star, but if you ain't moving mountains, you better kick rocks. Rocking from the south to the Brooklyn Blush astronomical track. I got it locked. If you ain't in this constellation, no conversation. My head's a little puffy, can't lock up my shine, can't deny. What I do is simply divine and I'm about my business. You can't compete. Even my teeth have my work ethic. They grind in my sleep. I'm a flawed individual, flesh batting and spiritual, trying to speak miracles with limited funds. Then work until the moon becomes the sun. Build them like a carpenter. We've only just begun. And record label said I wasn't cute enough. My national success wasn't proof enough. So they signed a model girl. And wouldn't you know, she got knocked up and called off all the shows. It's hard to see folk with less talent than you. They're Make it bigger moves with the master crew, but this ain't show and tell, this is show and prove, I'm proof, nothing's ever handed to you, been missing birthdays and family events, cause your out of town show has to pay your rent, before you got a check, it's already spent, my loop is flared up, my mom's a cancer patient, my mom's a cancer patient, rest in peace, she was a cancer patient, bad things happen, that's how it works out, but applause is the closest thing I got to a handout, it's about putting faith into your own hands, it's about putting faith into your own hands, manifesting God's plan, so I aim high, and then I shoot far, I aim for the moon, if I miss, I hit a star, aim high, Shoot far, just aim for the moon. If you miss, you'll hit a star. Thank you so much for joining me. My, na my name is Chanel Gabrielle. It's been a blessing to be your host for the night. Please continue to follow Urban Word and YT. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. And um, yeah, we're going to do this again. So keep posted. Um, we'll make sure we try to send the email out to all of the people that were present. Thank you to everyone at NYU Metro Center that's on there. I see Richard Gray. Thank you for joining us. And um, once again, much love. Please stay safe. Wishing you and yours safety, somewhat peace, somewhat, you know, just in general. As much as everything is going on, I do wish you all well. Hopefully see you soon. Take care. Thank you.